Hello everybody, this is a Rhino 8 video demo that demonstrates how we can create a fluid bobbly form such as this from a bunch of primitive shapes such as this. By the way, this is a viewer requested video. Okay, let's start. I'm going to use spheres as the fundamental shape of the base form. Okay, I'm going to mirror this onto this side. Maybe uh, let's scale this and bring this down and also scale this in this direction as well for more complex shape. Maybe this I want to like uh, scale something like that as well. Maybe okay, enough of tickering. So um this is going to be the base shape from which the raw B form will be generated okay once we have this uh, base shape done up the next thing we want to do is to use the string wrap command which is only available in Rhino 8 okay string wrap select objects to string wrap select all these fundamental shapes press enter and then you'll be presented with this option over here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the preview so that I can see the result and also click this height input object as well. Okay, So we can see the result in real time. To control the, the density of the form, we can use um, this target edge length. Okay, if you set a smaller value, it will appear closer to the original form, as you can see over here. However, in my intended design, I want something to be like more blended over here, not so sharp. Um, for this kind of situation, we got to set this value a bit higher. Okay, maybe I'll set something like 3 and see how it looks like. So you can see it's more blended. Okay, so you have a like a merge kind of uh, look and I, I think this is like too much okay so let me set a value that's lower maybe 2.4 okay maybe this is closer to what I want so uh, once this is done you can click OK what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the original base forms by doing the inverse height you notice that this current form has um, less than ideal topology so we want to like rearrange for a better topology to do that we can use the sub d tools quad remesh okay so this is the command here so i'm going to click the quad remesh and you ask me for an object to quad mesh so this will be it press enter and then we presented with this option over here okay maybe let's move this aside there are two ways to control the, the density. One is the target count. The other way is the target edge length. And before we um, proceed, you might want to decide on what is your intended result. Okay, If you want uh, something to be a mesh, you do not uh, check this. Okay, If you want your object to be sub D, that means a smooth form, you go to click on this convert to sub D okay in my example I want to convert the the form to a final smooth sub D so I go to uh, check and enable this okay and in order for me to see the result better I can click the preview and then click this height input object okay so we can see our preview better and as I mentioned we can use either one of this option to control the density okay let's say uh, if i use the target edge length and 
uh, and I want to make like bigger pieces less dense result right mm, you can set a higher value let's say I set this to 3 I can see yeah oh. and then if you were to use the code count yeah if you were to set a um, I don't know what what uh where where it went okay so um let me just change the value a bit okay for some reason when I use the quad count um the preview is not coming out well anyway i think um my preferred way of controlling is actually this target edge length so i'm going to click the target edge length I click preview okay and let's use three okay for some reason mm, i don't know why why is it not not appearing over here okay so i'm going to click okay the result is not coming out so uh, let me just repeat this again Okay, so I'm going to select this, click this, and yeah, I'm going to use this target edge length. Okay, set it to 3. Okay, let's see the preview. Okay, yeah, so yeah, so this is the result that I want. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. And yep, the result has been created. So let me just move this aside this aside to show you the form progression and then turn on the original okay so we have something like that okay you can see what I've done is that I run a string wrap as the first stage of iteration followed by the code remesh for a more refined form okay and with that I come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful See you. Bye.